Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another uh, FSA 3 video. Today we are back with uh, Nobody Wants to Die. So this is an Unreal Engine 5.3 game. Uh, if you don't know about this game, you can uh, watch the gameplay video I previously posted on the channel two to three days ago uh, prior to this video, where you play as a detective who can manipulate with time, uh, you go back in reverse and forth in time and investigate the case and everything. So yeah, right now as you can see the FPS is very low, like around uh, only 51. Uh, the setting I'm playing is on uh, NVIDIA DLSS uh, 3.7 actually. Uh, I have replaced it with uh, the DLSS file. Uh, so yeah, the 3.5 quality uh, and every other setting is set on high and the fps i'm getting is only around like uh, 50 50 fps uh, in this area uh, this is very heavy game like uh, you can literally see uh, the fps sometimes dropping to 40 sometimes because uh, unreal engine 5.3 is very new and the developers have not yet optimized it so yeah let's uh, mod this uh, game and get some more fps out of it so yeah let's begin this video without any delay all right so first of all uh, we will need this zip uh, nobody wants to die fsr3 for all gpu so we're going to extract it to the desktop now we're gonna go inside the directory and we're gonna go to the installation folder of the nobody wants to die which is here after that we're gonna go inside the date noir dot noir then binaries then win64 and where the dead noir 64 shipping.exe is located we're going to copy everything from the zip file to the installation directory now after pasting uh, we wanna do two things which is uh, first delete this uh, default fsr2 fsr3 config then uh, we're gonna run this dead noir uh, but before that we will disable this signature override so double click on the signature override then click on yes now we're gonna run this and close the cmd window as soon as it pops up so double click then close the window now fsr2 fsr3 config.tml will appear here uh, now we want to open it with notepad so we're gonna right click on it select it right click open with go to notepad and in here uh, we will select the fake nvidia gpu to true fake nv api to true and amd unreal engine dlss workaround to true now we're going to click on file and save close the text file now we're going to go inside the game and uh, i will talk a few things about this uh, mod and the fps boost so yeah let's get inside all right uh, we are back inside the game and uh, as you can notice in the frame rate it's already boosted from 40 and 50 to the 80s now you may tell that uh, this fps post is very little uh, i agree because this game was originally giving me around like 40 to 45 to 50 fps so yeah fps boost uh, won't work uh, very much in this uh, unoptimized title since it's an unreal engine 5.3 uh, you can also see shams shimmering around the character's finger i'll zoom in a bit yeah this is because of the fsr3 uh, upscaler or fsr3 frame generation uh, there is uh, very little uh, glitch also the hood flickering also like you can see the aim is flickering but uh, you can see the characters uh, hood ui where uh, the q space and e is attached to the hand of the character you can see those are perfectly stable they are not flickering mm, i mean not flickering very much they are pretty stable but uh, if you look at the hood it's a flickering little bit so yeah you will have to live with that because this game does not have the frame generation in build. if this game had uh, like dlss frame generation in build, then uh, it uh, wouldn't flicker this much because this game does not have the frame gen in build. that's why uh, the hood will be flickering and uh, if any update comes and if the developers fix it then i'll be sure to post it but right now you will have to work with this so yeah this will be it for this video now if this video helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, you can comment down below if you are facing any kind of issue and i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers